how to get Roblox shaders. Pretty much how to get shaders in Roblox. If you did not know what Roblox shaders are, they make your game look like this to this. They pretty much make all the graphics look amazing. And I'm going to show you how to get Roblox shaders and install them, while also showing you the best settings. I mean, just look at the difference right here. Just look at the difference. I like, look how better the game looks. Make sure you watch this whole video because you might miss an important step in this video. And I know for a fact there will be people in the comments saying that this did not work. And it's because they did not watch the full video. They might have skipped a few important steps. They might try to skip ahead and then missed a, a certain part and it didn't work for them. I have also hidden a few Robux codes in this video, just like this, boom. Well, that one's just, just like an example test, but yeah, they will be quite sneaky on this video. I've hidden quite a lot and nobody has actually redeemed them yet. You could be the first. All you have to do is just watch this whole video without skipping or anything like that because if you do try to skip ahead, they're going too quick. You will not be able to find them. Trust me, just watch this whole video and you might have a few bit of Robux on your account by the end of it. I've also got a bunch of Robux in my group and you can actually pay people out if you enter in their username in this. I could literally give you a Robux. So if you do want some, leave a like on this video, sub to the channel and most importantly, make sure you drop your Roblox usernames down below and make sure you watch this whole video. So firstly, you want to go ahead onto Google. Now, obviously I use Google, but you don't have to use Google to get Roblox shaders, but I'm going to show you this way because I use Google well, I use Google in order to get Roblox shaders and I typed in this right here. I typed in row shades right here and once you type in row shade, you will actually see Roblox shaders download uh, row shade for free. Obviously, we are going to go ahead and go onto that right here. Now, as you see right here, it will say upgrade Roblox with shaders. Obviously, upgrade with the shaders means better graphics. Now, you want to go ahead and press download row shade right here and it should look like this obviously nobody's going going to get the uh, the trial obviously but yeah you want to get the free one right here it is free right here so you want to go ahead and then press download on the free one right here and yes you want to press download right here and it will look a bit like this i don't know why they have this but all you have to do is just wait for this little thing at the top right to press skip right here and you can press skip right here and yes, bottom left, it will say Roshid Setup 3.3, whatever, complete. Now, a lot of people do get sus of this, of this site, but trust me, it does actually work right here. And I'll pretty much show you as well. Like, I don't own this website or anything like that. This is literally like a very cool feature on Roblox. You can use Roblox shaders to get better graphics. And I'm going to show you right here. So, so obviously, you want to go ahead and then press this little thing in the bottom left. Like this little arrow you want to press open right here and then press open again right here and it should be waiting to load right here and yes so what you want to do is simply press install so i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and then press start um well install for roblox shaders and yes keybind select your preferred settings for ro for reshade reshade i don't know but yeah Pretty much, that, pretty much what that means is turn it off and on. You can turn it off and on, just like I did when I showed you. So you can either use these keys on your keyboard. There's F8 and End, and then key to open, F7 and Home. But I wouldn't worry if you don't know what these means. I found an easy way to get even better ones. I mean, I just leave it on F8 and F7, and I'll show you what they mean later on, and I'll show you how to like turn it on and off. But yeah, so go ahead and press Next right here. Now, these are all the settings that you want pretty much. So, I just tend to just keep all of them, I guess. But, I mean, you can have a little comparison if you do want. I mean, I'm just going to have high. Nah, let's just leave it as this. It's because, like, again, row shaders, I'm not too bothered really. Shaders on row, but whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, just press install right here. And, yeah, it will be adding, like, shaders to your game. Well, just to your Roblox right here. And, yeah, so download shaders and textures, blah, blah, blah. So you want to go ahead and then press next right here and you want to do not press this, press this right here, press cancel. So once you have done that, you want to go ahead and open up a game. Now let's just go onto catalog avatar creator. I mean, it's, it's just a simple game really. Like it doesn't, it's not the best to show off graphics for a video, but again, you can get a, like a hang of it, I guess, if you just go onto it. 
And yeah, you should see that at the top right there. If you guys saw that, like a little like weird stuff right there. But yeah, now I've actually loaded into the game with shaders on. So what I do to actually access this, like the keyboard bit right here, because I don't actually have the F8 keybind on my keyboard. So I go ahead and then press right here, press on screen keyboard. So you want to go ahead and go onto this right here. And if I go into mobile monitor right here, so yes, this is the little keyboard you see on your screen. So firstly, you just want to press your game. You want to press your game, make sure like you're controlling the game right here. And you want to press right here, FN and then press F7. So as you see right there, it actually opens up all the settings. And if you wanted to turn it off right here, you, want to, you simply want to press FN and press 8. Now, as you see right there, my settings just did turn off right here. So let's just turn this back on right here for turning on back uh, back on my shaders. And yeah, so firstly, of course, you want to get the best settings because firstly, when you do first download the Roblox shaders, they're not always the best settings. So you want to go ahead and just find the best. Obviously, you can just close this obviously for now. But yeah, so you want the best settings now i would recommend something like ambient lighting all of these right now that are currently on and um, they are on by preset but yeah this one right here is quite an important one it does just kind of like reflect like the little like it looks kind of like glossy or whatever and like it's kind of good to be fair but yeah radiant i mean do you really notice much different there's blooming which is actually quite a good one to be fair i do actually use this one quite a bit there is Adolf right here, which again, you can keep adding on a lot of these settings and again, you could do different stuff like this right here. So of course, extracting bright colors. So you can make your game even more brighter right here. I just, let's just to be fair, I kind of like it, like kind of like this one right here. Looks quite good to be fair, just like this. It kind of makes it look real. Uh, there's border, which I mean, if you're ever making a video, like a I don't know, role play or a movie or whatever, you can get. I guess you can use this right here. Cartoon. I do actually see a lot of people use cartoon. Pretty much, it adds like a like a black outline around like your character, and also some little menus. But it doesn't really look too good on the menus. But it does make your game look, kind of stand out a lot more. There is also cinematics again. This pretty much blurs your game, like, whoa, what's happening here, oh yeah, <laughs> what is happening? But, of course, if I just turn this bit right here off, oh yeah, I need to make sure, you make sure you press the game as well, I do actually tend to forget that quite a lot. But yeah, I mean, yeah, you do need to change your settings quite a bit, so, of course, so uh, cinematic, you can just do all, wait, what happened here? Cinematic. And then there's like the auto focus right here, which you can obviously you can turn it off. turn it down a little bit, but that is something that I don't really like go on to cinematics anyway. There's also curves as well. I mean, yeah, look at that. It makes the game a lot brighter, which I would definitely recommend. But there's so much stuff right here. There's like D banding. There's film grain, which I don't really use at all. There's glitch, which I mean, yeah, I don't know about that one, mate, but. There's a HDR which does make a game very saturated and more colourful. I'm going to turn off the cartoon one right here. I mean, if you just look at this game right here, like it looks completely different to the average Roblox game right here. And I guess I kind of what I like about Roblox Row Shaders or just how to download shaders on Roblox is that it makes a game very colourful, which is, I like playing games that are colourful, like, obviously on YouTube thumbnails, you make them very colourful, so it can be very good for that, like, you can just already make them really colourful. I mean, if you compare that to this right here, like, yeah, like, it's very different. Obviously, I have a bunch of settings on, like, just random settings on right here, which, obviously, if you combine too many, they might look a bit weird, obviously, but, again, it is something you do need to have, just have a little play around. But I feel like this setting is a pretty good setting. The most average, you don't want too many on because, again, they might make a game look a bit too weird, which we don't really want. But yeah, if you just have a look at this right here, Roblox shaders, this is what it could do for you. Like, it just makes your game a lot better. 